Now let's look at the evidence for this recommendation. We're talking about two recommendations or two sources of evidence, studies on coffee and studies on green tea for this recommendation. We'll start with the recommendation for coffee. This is the study. It's available in PDF format in the resources section of this lesson. The study was published in the journal Circulation in September 2015. It was a meta-analysis that combined results from three cohort studies. The total population size was over 200,000. The follow-up was between 21 and 28 years for participants. And the results were that there was up to a 15% mortality risk reduction for three to five cups of coffee, regular or decaf were just as good. And we'll look at the graph in a moment. This is the study for green tea consumption. This is one of the few studies included in health score that are not from the US. This was a Japanese population. The reason I chose it though was because there haven't been studies this large on U.S. adults because green tea is not widely consumed in the U.S. Whereas over half of participants in Japan consume three or more cups of green tea per day. This article was published in the Journal of the American Medical Association or JAMA in September 2006. This was a prospective cohort study, and it looked at over 40,000 adults. The follow-up period was 11 years. It showed a 12% reduction in mortality for consumption of five to seven cups of green tea each day. Let's look at the data from both these trials. This is the graph. I combined the results from both of the trials. Let's start with the coffee trial. So you can see the x-axis is the ounces of serving per day. The y-axis is risk and reduction in death. We're comparing it to not drinking any coffee. The more coffee that was consumed during the follow-up period, the lower the risk of mortality. There was some attenuation or lessening of the benefit beyond five cups of coffee, but still Drinking seven cups of coffee was better than not none. So what was originally, one of the questions asked by the investigators was, does a lot of coffee hurt you and no coffee hurt you and the sweet spot somewhere in the middle? What they found was not exactly that. It wasn't that more coffee was dangerous. It was more coffee was good. It wasn't, it just wasn't as good. The red line shows the results for the consumption of green tea. And you can see the more green tea consumed, the lower the risk of mortality, with the optimal benefit being at five to seven cups.